knife knife wonderful knives knife knife wonderful knives hello my friends this is your new best friend pong lizardo and today what we are going to do as you can see we are going to compare the kitchenaid forge series stainless steel 8 inch chef knife to the wustoff culinar we are going to compare these two knives and we are going to see the difference between a cheap knife and a more expensive knife i think anything above 50 dollars for a kitchen knife is splurging you know after a while you get diminishing returns and you don't really get to see the difference but i want to talk to you about that in greater detail in this video and stick around for the end of this video because what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell you which one i will be keeping and which one will i give to my sister now i'm not a professional chef i'm just a kitchen enthusiast so you know take that into consideration when i am talking about knives a close-up comparison of the wustoff culinar uh, it doesn't want to show, huh? Wustoff Culinar. And the KitchenAid Forged Series Stainless Steel 8-inch Chef Knife. Both of these knives are very similar in terms of dimension. The KitchenAid is 13 inches. The Wustoff Culinar is at 13.5 or close to 13.5 inches. The blade of the Wustoff is 8 inches. The handle is at 5. It's fairly hard to say because it it's slanted but let's say 5.5 inches while the blade of the KitchenAid is at 7.5 now I think KitchenAid measured to the bolster that's why they say it's 8 inches 8 inches and the handle is 5.5 inches so it's very similar both of them is a full tang stainless steel knife now in terms of the steel that was used on these knives, both of them would fall under the category of medium carbon steel. The Wustoff Culinar being the one that has more carbon because it uses X50 CR MOV 15. Not only does the Wustoff have more carbon at 0.50% compared to 0.30 of the KitchenAid, it also has molybdenum and vandium which makes the steel of the Wustoff harder, significantly harder than the KitchenAid. And this is maybe why the Wustoff is significantly more expensive at 10 times the price of the KitchenAid. If you watch the previous video, the carbon content simply means the more carbon there is in, in the steel, the harder the steel is. Now, in our knives, the harder the steel that was used in the knife, the better edge retention ability you have. On the flip side, a harder steel would break or would chip if you hit something hard, while a softer steel would bend. One of the big differences between these two knives is the handle. The handle of the Wustoff is more sculpted as compared to the handle of the KitchenAid. Now, in my experience, and maybe I just have weird hands, you either like this handle or you don't. For me, this, when I hold this handle, it doesn't give me the confidence when I hold this handle. It doesn't fill my hands well. When I hold this handle now in terms of pinch grip pinch grip not a problem it handles well on the pinch grip and maybe this is what the this design is for because if you can see it slightly bulges here and that, that locks your fingers on the pinch grip but when I hold the knife I'm not really sure so that's why I say either you like it or you don't this satin finish on the handle that is nice that is nice, that satin finish. You've got to see this. That satin finish, yeah, that is nice. It goes like that, the, the brush, the, the brushing on the stainless steel, it goes like that. As opposed to the KitchenAid, which goes like this. And you know, this generic handle design of KitchenAid, I think would fit more hands better than 
this one. This one, when I hold it, it feel it fills my hand really well. I, I like how confident that grip is because it, it just feels my it fills my hand really well. And in terms of pinch grip, I think it's comparable to the Wustoff. It that shape right there, that shape on the near the bolster where the bolster and the handle meets. It's like a well that fills that fills up with your finger when you do a pinch grip on it. So, you know, in in my opinion, I like the handle of the Kitchen Aid much better than the Wustoff. Both of them are sharp. If I take a paper right here, you can see the Kitchen Aid cuts the paper fairly well. This is, you know, I think the standard test that a lot of people know about knife. You know, it's it's fairly the same. So I don't think you would have any problems with the edge. I've been using this for years and I've been using this for months. My experience in terms of edge retention, it's just, it's the same. It's comparable if it's not exactly the same. Another thing that I want to flag is the shape of the blade. These two knives, although they have similar blade height, this is two inches and this is shy of two inches, that difference on the height of the blade and the shape of the blade makes a big difference when you are cutting. Because I, when I cut, I tend to use the pinch grip and I tend to use my knuckles as a guide. So when I cut, I use my knuckles as a guide so I can cut fast like that. Now that hairline of a difference between the KitchenAid and the Wustoff makes a big difference when you're cutting. I have, see, sometimes it just goes over my knuckles. So I prefer the edge or rather the shape of the blade and the shape of the handle of the KitchenAid. The Wustoff Culinar is heavy. I don't have a scale, but it's definitely a heavier knife. This is a lighter knife. And also, I like the balance of the KitchenAid knife much better than the Wustoff. As you can see, I can balance the knife fairly well at the middle. So I like the balance of this. On the other hand, heavier knife. And the balance, weirdly enough, is at that after that line or near that line. The balance of this knife is right there. So those are obvious differences between these two knives, but there is a subtle difference that you may not see on the camera or on the pictures between these two knives. The Wustoff Culinar is really a beautiful knife. You buy this for the pleasure of using this. It's really a nice knife. It's beautiful. The, the way it is, it's so precise. You see the precision in the manufacturing of this knife as compared to the KitchenAid. This one, it looks like a functional knife and uh, it doesn't have that precise feel to it. It's not, it looks like a mass manufactured knife. It looks good, but I won't say it's beautiful, or rather it's not as beautiful as the Wustoff Culinar. So this is why I say you use this for the pleasure of using this, and you use this if you want something that works well. So this is something to consider when you're buying these two knives. What I noticed the first time I used this knife is this part of the knife this edge that you touch when you are on a pinch grip, this this is a little bit sharp here. And I had to sand it down. Because what happens if you, you are on a pinch grip and if you're using it for a long time, it starts to burn right here and right here when you're using it. It's, it starts, it, especially here, it just starts to burn. And it gets uncomfortable to use this knife. And that's why I needed to sand it down. For that imperfection right there, it just, 
literally and figuratively rubs me in the wrong way. This is a $150 knife and I'm under the opinion that anything over $50 for a knife is splurging on a knife and it's luxury. For something that expensive, I would expect that they would have sanded this down, especially this is designed for people who would use it on a pinch grip. The KitchenAid, on the other hand, has a more rounder and softer feeling on the spine of the knife where you hold it. So this is a very comfortable knife for me. Also, you know, when I cut like that, it's, it's very comfortable. So now moment of truth. Which knife am I going to keep and which knife am I going to give to my sister? And you might already know my answer. I will keep the KitchenAid, the cheaper knife, over the more expensive, more beautiful, better steel knife. What made me decide to keep the KitchenAid is this. Let's start with the KitchenAid. It's made of one piece of steel. And as I've mentioned in the past video, in our video before, it's just one piece. And that is just a difference in the polish of the steel. This is not a joint. It's really one piece of steel. As opposed to the Wusthof Kulinar, that joint right there. It looks like Wusthof created the handle separately. And let me just focus. It's hard to do a review like this. Close up, the camera has a hard time focusing. Wusthof, it seems, made this handle and made the blade separately. And they just inserted the tang of the knife in the handle. This, I think, is a point of failure for the knife. This might introduce water into, into the, that, that small area. Water might sit in there and it might rust there. The same logic applies here. This, I don't want water to be sitting there and seeping there and it might rust. So I don't like that. In addition, this is a more comfortable knife to use compared to the Wusthof Kulinar. The Wusthof Kulinar is heavy. And this one is a bit lighter. It's a sig I don't say it a bit. It's significantly lighter than the Wusthof Kulinar. And if you're cutting all day, that weight, it gets uncomfortable after a while. If you like this video, please remember to subscribe to the channel and hit tap click whatever that little bell so you get notified when a new video comes up. And show me how amazing you are by going to my Patreon. Patreon is this cool platform where you can become a generous patron. In my Patreon, the more dollar amount you put, the more amazing you become. The few dollars you are going to send my direction every month will not only keep my kitchen running. It will also keep this channel ad free. So if that sounds good to you, show me how amazing you really are. And I will see you on the next one.